Hey guys, just wanted to come to you with a quick video regarding my running shoes. In one of my running groups, I had posted a picture of running shoes that I had recently purchased and several of the people in that group or on that post asked me how they felt, were they wide, um, you know, were they hard, what was the cushion like, all of the good things. So I hadn't tested it out at that time and I have worn them twice now. Um, couch to 5k I did on Sunday and then today I did couch to 5k again with a little more distance on the running section so I wanted to go ahead and just post a quick video let them know and then I guess I'll post it on the YouTube channel as well I don't normally do shoe reviews however why not this is a part of my journey so the shoes that I have been trying are the Saucony endorphin shift here is the shoe and then I'll post pictures at the end of this section and a video of the shoe so you can take a closer look now I was told about the shoe by watching YouTube and um, going on the Saucony site read up on the shoes in this particular series it's called the endorphin series and there are three shoes one is the Saucony endorphin pro then they have one called the speed and the one that I have is called the shift basically the pro is a carbon plated shoe like a super shoe for fast runners pro elite maybe semi-elite runners people who move fast or your regular person who moves fast i am not a fast runner i am a slow runner uh, the speed is for your everyday training and also supposed to be you could use it for racing as well as the pro and um, so for longer distances and maybe speed work and then the shift is supposed to be your everyday kind of trainer um, you can use it for long runs, um, not really for speed work, but when I ran it, I did pick up my pace, which is still probably slow, but, and it worked out just fine. So, um, so I have like the shoe that's on like the lower end. It was $140 regular price. I get a discount. So I did <laughs> definitely use my discount. Um, and uh, I really do like the shoe. So number one, the shoe is definitely firm, but it has cushion. And I'll kind of explain that on the next part of the video. The reviews that I read about the shoe, um, or I actually watched on YouTube, were from two different people that I took sort of a keen interest in because they both indicated that they felt the shoe might be good for someone who is a heavier runner. So we're talking individuals who are over 170, um, 175 pounds, and maybe even just more stout or taller runners. Um, it might be a good fit because of the firmness. Now, what I found for me is that super or max cushion shoes, I love to walk in for short bursts or runs. They feel good. But I also noticed that I was getting shin splints every time I ran in those max cushion shoes. So I actually went back to a very old shoe that I have that I don't have a lot of miles on it. It's a Nike Lunar Stellos. It's made with um, their Lunar Lawn foam. And it's kind of, it's very firm. Um, but as you get going, it softens up. And I really like that shoe. I had no problems with that shoe. They don't make that shoe anymore. So I have been looking for other shoes to sort of replace that. And what I found were two shoes. One was the Asics Glide Ride, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I like the Glide Ride, except I think I had a defect in the left shoe. I'm working on trying to get that exchange, waiting for Asics to follow up on my email regarding the return and the shoe. And then I found these Saucony Shifts, which again are firm. Now they're firmer than the Glide Ride, firmer than the Lunar Stellos, from what I can tell. And, but I, the two runs I had, I had no, while I was running any issues with my shin and nothing afterwards so far. So I'm hoping that this can replace that Nike shoe as well as the Glide Ride until I can get a new Glide Ride. So I really do enjoy it. So yeah, definitely firm. 
uh, underfoot, but cushioned. It feels a little more cushioned in the heel and the toe area. It does have what I believe to be a hint of stability. Um, when I show you the video of the actual shoe, I'll point out some of those elements that I think are there for stability. And anyway, I really like it. It's not too wide. It's not, say, a narrow shoe, but it's also not a wide shoe. I went uh, half size up. I wear seven and a half in all of my shoes. I actually like to get my sh all my even my running shoes in seven and a half. But they say your feet can swell the more you're on your feet. So it's best to go up a half a size to a full size. So I have gotten my newer shoes in a half a size up. So I bought these in an eight. And for me, it's about, it's a little more than a thumbs width of toe room in the top. On the side of the shoe where your pinky toe would be, it does touch the outside for me. But there was no rubbing the mesh on the top is pretty soft and you know gives a lot and so there was no rubbing my foot didn't move around in the shoe and I definitely had more room in the toe now in the arch area for me um, it may have been well it was it looked slightly wide but again I had no movement in the shoe so I was concerned at first once I got it all laced up and tightened it was fine my heel didn't slip out of the shoe, so I really, so far, so good. Not feeling any pain in the knees, the shins, or the calves thus far. So I'm going to insert pictures now, and then another portion of the video will kind of give you a closer look at the shoe. So again, this is what it looks like. All right, guys, here it is. This is the Saucony Endorphin Shift. If you can see in here, it indicates that this is part of the Endorphin series with Speed Roll technology. So the Speed Roll technology is the way that the shoe is constructed. As you can kind of see, it rounds a little bit up. So when you are running, it kind of pushes you forward and you hit this and it rolls forward the outsole of the shoe um, we have here rubber all this is rubber the blue is the foam exposed foam this is a harder piece of I'm I'm thinking this green part is either a really hard rubber or a different type of foam and I'll explain when I flip the shoe over um, no issues with traction I ran on mud, I uh, run on wet cement, and then the track. No problems. I'm going to take it over to this part, so where it says Saucony. So this is where I said I believe this is either a hard piece of foam or maybe infused rubber. It is super hard. I think that's for an element of stability in the shoe because there is slight stability. Um, which includes this heel counter that comes down into the foam. Can you hear that? It's pretty hard. Can't move it too much. It is a high stack height shoe. I will indicate the millimeters on that later. I'll insert it into the video or into the description. Um, it is a high stack height shoe. It is very cushioned but firm and when you come to this element here, like you can't really push on this. The foam moves around to the side of the shoe, the other side. Again, that heel counter kind of squish, and then it gets softer up here. This is flexible. Pull tab here. There's also a pull tab on the tongue. All of this is very cushioned not overly but very cushioned it has almost like a pillow feel here and then your heel sits in there i had no rubbing and no slipping the tongue is also padded as you can see but the padding doesn't go all the way down because it 
is sewn onto this mesh. The tongue is partially gusseted into the side, as you can see. And then the upper here is, um, this is a mesh. I, it feels like there's two layers. I'll have to double check on that. And then like they have like a little bit of element of reflection here. But the shoe is all white, plus these bright laces if you keep them on. This bright orange with those small reflective details, I think people will see you coming in the dark. Uh, so for me, the shoe was um, firm but cushion. I am in love with this color. I normally wouldn't wear a white shoe. I'm going to get um, it treated with rejuvenate this weekend um, before it gets too dirty. So I'm going to clean it and then spray it down to help um, keep some of the dirt um, from getting on the shoe because I just, I would never normally get like an all white shoe for running, but this is, it was just, the colors were just too cute. I had to get it. So that is the Saucony Endorphin Speed, or Endorphin Shift, sorry. Alrighty.